Well, g'day curd nerds. Today we're going to do a taste test for the Farmhouse Cheddar Blue. It's matured for its three month um, maturation period. And you can see it's got all sorts of wonderful moulds all over it um, that uh, don't smell too bad at all. So let's um, crack into it and see what it looks like inside. Fingers crossed there'll be some blue veining. Um, what I may need to do though is remove some of the uh, blue mould from the outside of the cheese, like I'm doing here. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be pretty nasty sort of uh, taste or very, very sharp blue taste. Anyway, so I'll just scrape a bit of this off so I can see the original rind of the cheese. So this is not actual cheese I'm scraping off here. This is the mold. Right, down to the rind now. a bit messy isn't it? Don't tell Tim, Kim I got it on the table. Now I could wipe this off with a, a salty brine solution uh, but this is fairly easy to do. I want to keep some of the flavour there and I'm hoping inside we're going to have some nice blue rind. If not it will just taste like a nice cheddar anyway. So. Nearly there. Okay. Now just got to get this top part off. some dimples in the top so it's not scraping down to the rind. Right, let me just get rid of this mess and uh, I'll come back a little bit more. Right. Well, so I'm back. Okay, let's see if I can cut it with the uh, newfangled uh, cheese cutter thing I've got here, the cutting board. 
We've got the cheese in the middle. Oh, so good so far, so far. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got some blue vein marbling. Have a look at that. It's not a lot, but oh, smells good too. Fantastic, absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Uh, so where there were some mechanical holes, obviously the uh, the blue got into it. Um, so uh, we'll just do a little bit there and I'll cut a piece off for testing purposes. Oh, nice, very nice indeed. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy that this turned out. All right, let's taste it. Not really a, a blue smell. Little, there's a little bit of ammonia scent. I think that was from all the extra rind. Um, like I said, I could probably scrape that off a bit more. Anyway, let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, goodness me. It tastes like cheddar, but it tastes like blue. How good's that? Mmm. Mmm. My goodness. I'm not going to eat the rind. Too good to waste though. Mmm. Mmm. The more I look at it, the more marbled it is. And you can see there. Absolutely fantastic. I'll get in close. That. If I'll, <laughs> to quote an Australian movie, The Castle, that is going straight to the pool room. Really delicious. Cheddary blue, creamy. Oh, this cheese has just blown me away. Um, and I hadn't made it for so long. In fact, the first time I made it, it was a bit of a serendipitous event. Um, because I had a farmhouse cheddar um, that I just wrapped up in cling wrap that I put into the fridge after it matured and it had some cracks and stuff in it and uh, and some blue well, penicillin broke 40 got into it and uh, and created the marbling effect but this purpose built uh, farmhouse cheddar blue is a hit we've got uh, blue marbling and it tastes fantastic I'm going to have another sneaky bit. By the way, it cuts really well. It's not crumbly. Oh, look at that. Let me just get that rind off. Get rid of that. It's a little bit hard around where the rind is too, where it's uh, more softer in the middle. Get that off. Mm. Oh, that blue just hits you. So nice. Mm. And that um, faint ammonia smell from the rind is all gone now, so. Oh, bloody delightful. This is a definitely make again cheese. I'll make this one no problems at all. Oh, fabulous. Mm. I'm, you can tell I'm enjoying it, right? absolutely delicious fantastic cheese farmhouse cheddar blue highly recommend you make it and uh, in the end card there'll be a picture of the cheese on how to make it if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so so you get notified of more cheesy content on a weekly basis now if you really like the show then you can become a patron and support us financially for as little as one dollar per month Every little bit goes towards making these videos and keeping them coming. Anyway, thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.